The perpetual nature of human beings dictates the power will invariably turn to corruption. George Orwell displays the worst parts of human nature in his book Animal Farm. Orwell comments on the deplorable state of human nature by portraying the value of corruption alongside power, ambition, greed, and fear to convey his message about the ineffectiveness of such political ideologies as socialism and totalitarianism. To achieve this goal, Orwell depicts varying levels of corruption by applying them to multiple characters and scenes. The topics that will be discussed today are those of the betrayal of Snowball, the changing of the Seven Commandments, and the eventual totalitarian government overseen by Napoleon. Oil expands on the idea that the prospect of losing power often leads to fear and therefore corruption. In the middle of chapter 5, Snowball is violently chased out of the farm by a pack of nine enormous dogs. Preceding this event, Napoleon cast a particular sidelong look at Snowball, then uttered a high-pitched whip. This passage rightfully suggests that it was Napoleon who trained these dogs and decided to use them to his advantage in taking out his most dangerous political competitor. Preceding this unfortunate event, Napoleon, with the dogs following him, announced that Sunday morning meetings would come to an end. In future, all questions relating to the working of the farm would be settled by a special committee of pigs. Napoleon's decision to essentially cede all power entirely to him and his disciples clearly displays his corruption. Furthermore, the fact that through Napoleon, Orwell used the word choice of special to describe the committee of pigs displays that he's creating a sort of class system, with the pigs at the top. Similar tactics were employed by Vladimir Lenin and Joseph Stalin shortly after the Russian Revolution in order to gain massive amounts of power, further proving the corruption that's endemic in human nature. Through the continuous adjustment of the Seven Commandments, Orwell's able to communicate the idea that, through the power of the pigs and the ignorance of the animals, corruption was able to disseminate into the culture of Animal Farm. Near the end of Chapter 8, Squealer clearly demonstrates the farm's newfound culture of corruption. One night, at about 12 o'clock, there occurred a strange incident which hardly anyone was able to understand. Orwell's lexical choice of hardly anyone reinforces the idea that the animals are uneducated and that the pigs are using this fact to their advantage. Squeal is found temporarily stunned with a lantern, paintbrush, and an overturned pot of white paint. It's clear to see that Squeal has been tampering with the commandments, unbeknownst to the animals. None of the animals could form any idea as to what this meant, except old Benjamin, who nodded his muzzle with a knowing air and seemed to understand, but would say nothing. Later in Orwell's allegory, Squealer's intentions are met when Clover and Benjamin find the commandments all but removed, replaced by a single phrase, All animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. The writing of this final commandment truly signifies the coming about of Napoleon's totalitarian government. This action quite clearly communicates to the reader that the pigs have become corrupt with power, just as human nature dictates. Total power will inevitably evolve to become total corruption. Throughout the fable, the pigs rapidly gain significant power. By the end of chapter 9, when a dying boxer is carted away to his death in order to buy the pigs a ration of whiskey, it's firmly established that the pigs have engineered a ruthless, unforgiving, totalitarian government. Even after a good friend of most of the animals has just passed, Squealer still takes the opportunity to reinforce propaganda. Long live Animal Farm. Long live Comrade Napoleon. Napoleon is always right. Those were his very last words. Orwell uses repetition and an uplifting tone to increase the emphasis on the supposed good in the situation. Following this, Orwell's characterization of Squeal's demeanor suddenly changed. He fell silent for a moment, and his little eyes darted suspicious glances from side to side before he proceeded. The sibilance in the sentence leaves no doubt that Squealer is surely lying and that his efforts at consoling the animals are purely driven by his corrupted view of the dictatorial government. Allegorically, this scene further proves that human nature, without fail, causes power to turn to corruption. As has been thoroughly proven, the perpetual nature of human beings dictates that power will invariably turn to corruption. This is firmly proven by Orwell's vision of Napoleon. In particular, his actions such as the betrayal of Snowball, the changing of the Seven Commandments, and his overarching totalitarian government, which was slowly formed throughout Orwell's allegory.